Okay, in this video, I'd like to show how to solder wire to a circuit board. So there might be many situations where you wanna, you wanna put a piece of wire to connect uh, certain parts of the board. You may not be able to get to uh, attachment points. Um, you can certainly attach it to resistors or capacitors, but what I'll show you right now is a way to do it on these traces. Now these these little channels right here are are basically wires. They're all wires on your circuit board and they'll go through these vias to other parts of the circuit board. So every circuit board is either two layers, four layers, six layers, as many layers as you want. You can think of that as a, a two-story building or a four-story building or so forth so that each floor has its own way of getting around on that floor and to connect to the other floors, you gotta go up through these, these vias. So you can see the traces going into the vias to the next part of the board or to another part of the circuit on the board. So let's say for example, we wanted to, we needed to tap into this wire or this trace. So what you do is you get an X-Acto knife and you're going to start gently scraping the surface coating. Okay. Now you can, you can start to see the copper. All these traces on your, on the circuit board are going to be made of copper. Okay, so once that's done, clean it off a bit. You're gonna wanna put some flux some flux on there. One more, here we go. And you get some solder. Okay, we've got a little bit of solder on there. I'm gonna take a wire. Now I this is number 32 gauge wire. You can use a wire that's small enough to get what you want, or get it's the size of this trace. And you can you can melt back a little bit of it. do is we got to get a little flux on there. Get some solder on the wire. Now let's get some more some more solder on there. Okay, now you can see the wire is on, on your trace now. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is take some Capcom tape. This is basically silicone-based tape. You're gonna to wanna to put that down. Now this tape is great because it's heat resistant, so it doesn't leave residue when you peel it up. And I'll put links to all these tools uh, in its description down below. Um, this is going to allow you to keep that in place so that doesn't pop up. Uh, another thing you can do once the uh, once that's down, you can use this conformal coating. Take this off. Just put a little bit of that down. 
what this does is it waterproofs your board. You can use this to waterproof your your drone boards or any circuit. It's uh, it, once you let it dry, it'll form a nice waterproof bond. It'll also keep your wire in place, and you can peel up the capped on tape. Good thing about this, the waterproofing is you can you can light it up with a UV flashlight to see where the waterproofing is to make sure it's where you want it to be. So now once that's done, you, your interconnect, you can take the other part of the wire and attach it to, to somewhere else. Now another thing you might want to do is, is, cut, is cut a trace. For example, you might have a short at one end of the trace and you need to you need to cut it so you would do the same thing i demonstrated earlier you're going to scrape away the trace and you're going to you're going to just with your exacto knife cut it cut into it gently so you can peel it back and you'll see here the trace has been cut so this way you can you can solder something onto either part of the trace and then run your wire to where you need to and now this trace won't bother you anymore if that's what you need. So let's go ahead and prove, let's prove that that trace is cut. So I'm gonna turn on the ohmmeter, set it to uh, resistance make, uh, with your, your ohms and set it to sound beep. So you should be able to hear and make a connection. Okay, let's check the trace. Okay, let's jump to the other side. Okay you can see the trace is cut. So that's a successful cut. If you like this video, please comment, subscribe. We appreciate you watching. Thank you.